Hello, this is Mr. Neil Reiseter, consultant audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in another demonstration video of our recently developed Waxscape, which is due to be uh, available to purchase from early autumn 2022. So if you're interested and you want to learn more about the Waxscape, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk and we can add you to our mailing list. So we have a patient here who attended with bilateral fully occluding earwax with sizable earwax plugs in both ears. And we're just starting off with the, the right ear. Now the patient has got a narrow ear canal entrance. So I'm just using the smallest of our four speculum sizes, which is a 3.5 millimeter. And this attaches to the wax scope directly. And of course it's, um, it, it's single use. So uh, once used, uh, it's disposable and you attach uh, another speculum for your next patient. And the sizes that we have, are, as I said, 3.5 millimeters, which is the one that I'm using at the moment, are 4.25 millimeter, five millimeter, and 5.75 millimeter for the extra large ear canals and mastoid cavities. So I've just put some olive oil spray in here just to change the consistency and bind the wax plug together. And you can see I'm getting a much better suction grip and I'm just retrieving this wax plug out of the ear. The entrance is a bit narrower, so as, um, as the speculum is withdrawn from the ear, uh, the, the entrance does narrow a bit and closes upon the wax plug, kind of seizing it and trying to hold, trap it inside the ear, but we just managed to wriggle this out. So I'm just going to dilate the ear canal now using the speculum. We're going to visualise the eardrum. Just going to get it in focus. You can see a nice healthy eardrum there. Just having a good examination of the whole ear. And so this is the patient's left ear. The wax in this ear was a bit stickier, at least the surface was. And again, just near the entrance, I'm just gonna lift this off the base of the ear canal, but it was a bit too glutinous and sticky. So I decided to put some spray, olive oil spray straight away, just using the speculum there to dilate the ear. This is probably where um, some people will find it difficult um, to use our eye clear scope, uh, endoscope, because you're having to dilate and stretch the ear using the endoscope itself and at the same time visualise the wax and use your other hand simultaneously to remove the wax. And it was just stretching and straightening the ear that some people found a bit difficult. Not everyone, but some people found that a bit difficult to use with the eye clear scope. Uh, and that was the reason why I decided to develop the wax scope as well as a complementary alternative device to the eye clear scope. And with the wax scope, it's a bit like uh, when you're using loops or uh, an ENT microscope, you have a speculum that dilates the ear canal and then you can fully visualize the, the contents of the ear. And instead of holding the speculum in place using your non-dominant hand, as you would do with loops or an ENT microscope, the, the speculum here is attached to the end of the wax scope. And it's like a clip-on. And we have an open working channel and a slit at the top as well, um, which enables the instrument to be inserted at, into the ear at a higher angle. And that helps not only improve the optics inside the ear because it's not necessarily obs obliterating, obscuring the whole view, the instrument, if it came from directly through the center of the speculum, but it also provides more maneuverability. Now, just like the patient's right here, but more so in this ear, this wax plug's got trapped near the entrance. We've loosened it, we've mobilized it. Therefore, I'm now gonna insert a Jobson horn, and this is where the wax go has additional advantages because it's just not microsuction. With the wax scope, you can use the full range of ENT micro instruments. So here, you can see how we're using the Jobson horn to get in and behind this wax plug and slowly bring it forward. So remember, this is a smaller speculum. So even with a small speculum, there's enough space maneuverability to insert all instruments. So this is the patient's left ear. Again, quite a narrow ear, but even then, we've got a great view. Just adjusted the focus slightly. You can see all the blood vessels and capillaries. Uh, to the back part of the ear canal there and the eardrum sorry and that's the contents on both ears 
I uh, hope you enjoyed that video, guys. And if you are interested in the Waxcope, uh, please do email info at clearwax.co.uk. Thank you. Bye.